Hey there, Sharon Hornell here. Welcome to day 2,289 of What You Have to Know, documenting the journey. Originally, as I came online, I guess it's been six, seven years ago now, and I started documenting my journey due to coaching and nudging and shoving by my mentors at the time and saying, listen, you need to get there. You need to show up. You need to find your voice. You need to do all these crazy things. And so I took them at their word and I just started talking. And this is day 2,289. I guess I've missed a couple of days now. One was when I had COVID in 2020 or 2019 in the Christmas holiday, Christmas day, I think of 2019, I missed a day. And then I missed another day because I didn't get my videos posted on time due to technical challenges like we're having right now. I'm traveling, I'm in Texas and we've had weather in the central part of the United States. That's just crazy or else Facebook's going crazy. I don't know if it's certain platforms or what, but I definitely had challenges over the last couple of days. Yesterday was horrible. I think it was after 10, 1030 before I got this, uh, one of my videos even to upload. And it was just crazy. And uh, it sounds like my sister is saying that we're having the same technical difficulties today. So I'm not going to get frustrated by it. I'm going to hang out with my cousins. We've got some cousins down visiting. So I'm excited about that. I don't hardly ever get to see them. And we're going to go do some fun Texas touristy things because my mom's feeling better. Well, Today we talked about for content, I create a couple of pieces of content every day. One is the annual challenge. This year's challenge is the Let's Grow Annual Challenge. And so we're doing one thing every day to grow. This month we're focusing on mental growth, mental well-being, mental health, mindset, mental thought topics. And today's topic is levels of consciousness. So I shared different schools of thought on levels of consciousness. And then our action item today is as we go about our day, pay attention to how much we're paying attention. How present are we? How, how much are we in our conscious mind being present or how much of our time are we letting our mind wander and our thoughts wander? We're just going to come up with a percentage today. And I'm, I'm excited to do this exercise because I don't think that I've ever really consciously been aware of how present and how conscious I am being uh, on any given day. And I know that the vast majority of my time, I'm all over the place. So I think it's going to be a fun exercise. For Supersize Your Business, we talked about SEO strategies, strategies for using SEO to rank higher in search engines, to show up when people go searching for us online, to uh, get more attention, get more authority, get more a uh, better reputation, get backlinks. That's a technical way of getting uh, people to link to us and, and give us more reputation, better reputation online. Uh, and there's all kinds of things with respect to that. And again, I did shameless plugs for David Burton and his organization, SEO National, because I think he and they are awesome. Uh, because there are things that we do for our businesses to grow and build and supersize our businesses that we are the driver of and we are, uh, we actually do them. And then there are other things that we let other people that are experts in their area do with us and for us and actually do for us and, and we let them do it because we know that they're the experts and they're going to get much better results than we could ever get on our own. And SEO is one of those areas for me, just like accounting and taxes and uh, certain things like that. Not financial KPIs, but that area of finances, that's been outsourced for me for at least a quarter century because that's when it started to get really complicated. And once it started to get really complicated and I personally could not keep up on the annual changes of, of IRS laws and things, I knew I was better off searching out and finding the best expert for me at the time. And that's what I did. And we need to do that with a lot of different areas and aspects if we want our business to grow. The tighter we hang on to things in our business, the slower it grows. Have you ever noticed that when your business stagnates a little or your life, that you are actually the bottleneck and the problem causing that or the uh, root cause of the problem? I know, hard to admit, but absolutely positively true. So how do you get out of your own way in different areas and aspects of your life. That's that's something we should talk about on another day. That's maybe part of the growth challenge. All right, that's all I've got today. If I can help you in any way, ask. Uh, technologically, you should be able to reach me, but uh, the way the internet's been performing the last couple of days and Wi-Fi, I cannot guarantee anything. But if you got a question, ask. You know how to find me. Have an awesome day, and I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow.